Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Coastal Living. I'm here with D.A. Mark Gonzalez. He's back. He just he loves us so much. He had to come back before Christmas, right, Mark? Second time, second time. Thank That's you for having right. me. Merry Absolutely. Christmas. Merry Christmas to all the viewers out there. That's right. Well, we're very excited to have you, and it's a good time because sure. we want to make sure that we're being very safe this holiday season. Some of us go out, we get in the spirits, but sometimes we enjoy some spirits as well. And you want to make sure that you're responsible. So tell us about what happens around the holidays. So typically in the holidays, some people enjoy a little bit too much eggnog, right? Mm, and yes. so uh, <laughs> one of the campaigns that there's out there is to have a plan, right? Mm -hmm. Always be sure if you're going to drink alcoholic beverages to have a plan, mm -hmm. as well as a no excuse campaign that's going on. We partner with Apollo and all law enforcement agencies. They will actually come pick up your vehicle if you've had too much to drink. The only thing is you have to have your um, your keys, of course, of course. <laughs> a proper ID to show where you live, mm -hmm. uh, and the vehicle has to be operable. You can't wreck it, then call Apollo. Uh, <laughs> it needs to be, I saw so, Mark on Coastal yeah. Living, he said. Yeah, Mark said you could come pick me up. No, <laughs> so uh, we're very blessed to be uh, a part of that partnership. So we encourage Absolutely. everyone out there uh, to uh, not drink and drive. And if you have had too much, use a, use a Uber, Lyft, a friend, and if you have to, call Apollo. Absolutely. There's so many services available out there and also just a big sober movement of people who choose just not to drink that might sure. normally enjoy eggnog or whatever it might be. And they're happy to be the designated driver to get you home safe. The biggest thing I think is not being that stubborn person. If you have had a few that's like, oh, I've got this and I feel great and look at me, I can do this and we're fine. Sure. Don't be that person. No. Don't take the chance. You want to make sure you're making smart choices because it's also no refusal. So what does that mean to our viewers? So unfortunately, no refusal means that um, through a warrant, we're going to execute a search warrant for your blood, mm -hmm. uh, and you're going to have to give it to us whether you want to or you don't. Uh, we've actually secured a phlebotomist. And for those of you that don't know, a phlebotomist is the actual person that draws your blood. Mm -hmm. uh, and instead of going to Spawn or the other local hospitals to get your blood out, we paid for one to actually be at the city detention center uh, and the actual local jail. So it's going to be kind of a streamlined process. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to get your blood and later on we can use that obviously uh, to convict you uh, for a DWI offense. Wow. And tis the season to not get a DWI, no, guys. Let's you don't go want into to. 2020 making smart choices <clears throat> and staying out of trouble. And plus some people just don't like having their blood drawn period. So this is not an experience that you want to have. Well, being okay. arrested is not a great experience no. ever. Uh -huh. uh, if you have to go to work tomorrow, you're probably not going to make that. Yep. Uh, if you need to go <laughs> pick up, you know, your, your kids or a relative, you're probably not going to do that either. And so just be smart out there. We really yeah. encourage the community not to drink and drive or engage in any other criminal activity ever. Of so. course not. And so tell us what you have planned for Christmas. What does Mark do for Christmas? Uh, luckily, I get to spend it with my family and friends. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not bought any of my gifts either. I heard everyone <laughs> saying. And you missed the Amazon yeah. Line. It's I know. Over, I'm an Amazon guy. My wife's like, every day I get a package, she's like, what did you buy? I'm like, oh, uh -huh. I needed a, a, a code or I needed yeah, something sure. for the ranch. So I love Amazon, mm -hmm. as, as, uh, but it spoiled me. We like want it right then and there. Exactly. So I, uh, I'm not going to Best Buy or the mall. And so. Gonna gift card it? Gift cards. I, or I, show up with the bow on you and say, I'm the present. I was telling one of the, uh, uh, from the, the med spa, I'm giving love this season, there you, you know, I'm going to give you a high five and say, I love you so much and uh -huh. uh, Merry Christmas. So. I think some of we have good years and not so good years. There's years where I'm on it and I got everybody and the distant cousin or whatever. I'm like, I got you, girl. <laughs> and there's other years where I'm like, guys, I just, I'm sorry. I failed. I failed this Christmas. Typically, I'll just grab a ton of 20s or even 10s. I'm like, hey, <laughs> Uncle Mark loves you. Here's a 20. You know? make and, it rain. <laughs> and there you go. Everyone knows they're going to get a 5, a 10, a 20, maybe. So. I love it. And so I, one of my favorite questions to ask around the holidays is, what is your Christmas tradition? Do you celebrate Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Uh, we have a, a ton of traditions. Mm -hmm. uh, typically, though, every morning on Christmas, we go to my mom's house and okay. she makes us breakfast, which is really like at 12. Of course. Uh, because we wake up late. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's about it. And then we go to church uh, the, on Christmas Eve with my, uh, with my wife and her family. So okay. we go there on Christmas Eve and then the next day we go to my mom's and then we go everywhere. So everywhere all else. South Texas. Okay, so you do breakfast at mom's and I assume it's like a plethora of breakfast things. You have chorizo con huevo and bacon and eggs and the, all the good stuff. Tamales. Yes. beans, tortillas, I mean, you name it. Okay, what is the perfect dipping sauce for tamale? Ketchup, everybody knows that. Everybody out there knows <laughs> that ketchup's yeah. the way to go. We got a round of applause, put, all right. I put ketchup on my ketchup, on my tamales, <laughs> so. For me, it's the hottest hot sauce that I can find, but that's a spice level thing. So what is some other, when you visit with your wife's family, what is like your staple Christmas meal or your Christmas dinner? For mine, it's like pozole, tamales, 
side. It's, it's always tamales. And mm -hmm. uh, if we're lucky, we actually get delias tamales. Oh, uh, so and good. So, and then some uh, pan de polvo. Yeah, you can't uh, go wrong with so, that. And uh, so, you know, those are the two things that you have to indulge in every holiday season. And that's why my jacket's a little bit tighter <laughs> than I'm going to have to get with the med spa to get this <laughs> area worked on. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, you know, I just enjoy being with my with my, my family and friends and it just just going and seeing everyone. We're very blessed. So. Awesome. Absolutely. We're all feeling really blessed. Blessed to have you here. So we're also blessed to get to play a little game with you. We're going to take a short <laughs> break. And when we come back, we're back with DA Mark Gonzalez and we're playing a little game of Would You Rather. I'm scared, by the way. <laughs> you should be. We'll be right back on Coastal Living. <laughs> Want to be featured on Coastal Living? Post a pic on our Facebook or Instagram. We'll be right back on Coastal Living. <laughs> 